Welcome to So Very Easy. My name is Laura and it is that time of the month for the Shades of Grey Block of the Month. Now this is a free program being put on by Quilting Confections. I'll put a link in the description if you'd like to follow along. Now this month is called the Shoe Fly Block. It is a very simple block but it has a lot of possibilities. We're going to make it in the Block of the Month design then we're going to turn it into a nautical quilt. So for this block, we're going to use three colors. We're going to use the blue that we've been using throughout. And this is going to be a two and a half inch square. We're going to need a dark and a light. And the light, you're going to cut four pieces at two and a half inches by four and a half inches. Then you will need two large blocks of the light and the dark and they are at five and a half inches. So we have five and a half, five and a half, two and a half, two and a half by four and a half. And we are going to sew the two larger blocks together to make half square triangles. And we're going to draw the line down the center, match up the two pieces and sew a quarter inch on each side of that line. And when the quarter inch has been sewn, cut down the center, which will give you two half square triangles and you're going to take the seams and press them to the dark. And when they've been pressed to the dark, we need to square this up to four and a half inches. There are many different rulers and techniques to square up the half square triangles, but I'm going to show you a ruler today called Block Lock. And it is a square up ruler, but the difference is it has a little channel that has been carved out of the ruler. And that little channel is made to accommodate the three layers of fabric right there at that seam. So it's going to nestle right inside that seam and it won't move. So you can square it up from the back or you can square it up from the front. And that channel is going to fit right over that seam. And it fits very snug so it doesn't move. So you'd be able to square off the one corner and then you're going to be able to slide the ruler down and cut the other edge off. So you're going to be able to use the measurements at the side. So I'm looking for the four and a half inch mark. And again, that fabric fits right inside that channel so it doesn't move. I'm at the four and a half inch mark and I can trim it off to a perfect four and a half inch. Just another way of squaring up your half square triangles. And when the half square triangles are squared up to four and a half inches, we're ready to sew the block together. And to sew this block together, it's very easy. You're going to sew it in three rows. The center row is going to consist of the two and a half in the center with the two, two and a half by four and a half inches. Then on the other side of that square, you're going to have the other two and a half inches by four and a half inches. That leaves the half square triangles to fit in the four corners and the dark is going to go into the center. And that is a shoe fly block. So the three units together in all three rows. And we need to press the seams. Press the center block into itself. The half square triangles are going to go out. And with the seams going in an opposite direction, you're going to be able to sew those two rows together those seams will nestle together. And when they're sewn together, take those seams and press them in. So these seams are going out, the center is coming in. And there you have one finished shoe fly block. So I've chosen a nautical fabric and this is from Timeless Treasures called Mini Mariner. And it has lots of nice small prints with a couple of bold stripes in it. And I'm going to use the fat quarters to make the blocks. If you have a good size fat quarter, you'll be able to get four blocks from two fat quarters. If not, you'll be able to get three. Now with this block, we used three colors. For the nautical, we're only going to use two colors for each block. Match up your fabric into stacks of two that you like the fabrics to go together because this is going to make your three or four blocks and you're going to cut them together and put the right sides together 
and press them together and get them ready for cutting. Now fat quarters run anywhere between 22 inches and 15 inches and that will all depend on the fabric before the fat quarters are actually cut. I have the two fabrics together that I want to make each block by. Now I can cut all of the pieces out of this fat quarter. So along the 22 inch side, cut two strips at five and a half inches. From the remainder, cut two strips at two and a half inches. From the five and a half inch strips, cut them into five and a half inch squares. You're going to be able to get somewhere between three and four out of each strip. In the two and a half inch strips, you need to cut your two and a half inch square blocks to start with. Then along the rest of the way, you're going to be able to cut them down into four and a half inch strips. So you will have two and a half inch squares and two and a half inch by four and a half inch. Now we can lay these out and get them ready for sewing. And just as before, you have the two pieces facing each other. Draw a line down the center, do your quarter inch on each side and trim them apart, pressing the seams to the darkest fabric that you have in the pile. And once we have them laid out, we're going to be able to sew them together just like we did the original block in rows and then sew the rows together. We also are going to be able to switch up these blocks. Where we have the dark in, we're going to be able to switch it to the light inside. And then the center crossbars are going to be changed. So now we have an opposite layout. If you're able to get the eight five and a half inch blocks, you will have two blocks of this variation and then you're going to have two blocks in the other variation. And if you're only able to get six of the five and a half inch blocks cut, you're going to have two blocks in one variation and then one block in the other variation and the choice will be yours. So you can use as many fat quarters as you want to get as many blocks as you want. Now we're going to be able to sew all of these blocks together. If you want, you can try this with just two large fat quarters and it's going to give you four blocks. By sewing the four blocks together, you end up with a secondary pattern in the center. Put a little border on it, some binding, you have a little table topper. Put nine together and you have a little bit bigger of a table topper. I'm going to sew the nine together because I have a nice round picnic table outside and this will be perfect for the summer. I like to lay out my blocks backwards and that way I can see the seam allowances and I'm able to make sure that I have opposing seams going to all of the blocks. Then I'll sew the blocks in the rows and then sew those rows together. And with this block being finished at 10 inches, nine of them will give me a nice 30 inch square table topper. My husband's going to love this. He's a fisherman who loves to cook. It's a perfect Father's Day gift. I do hope you give this a try. And as always, thank you for joining me today on So Very Easy. Feel free to subscribe. And as always, come on back. Let's see what we're sewing next time in the sewing room. Bye for now.